Hello everybody, welcome back to Chairside Education. You know, on one of my recent tours, I came across a group of highly experienced and eminent practitioners who were very happy with Bruxir, the solid monolithic zirconium from Illusion, since they've been using it for the last decade. However, the one unanimous question that they had for me was, how do we finish and polish a material as tough as zirconia? I'm sure all of you practicing crown and bridge dentistry would have come across this situation not only with Bruxir, but also with PFMs and metal restorations. Chairside has a perfect answer to this question. Let's find out. I'm sure you'll remember that on episode 13, I had showcased a special kit meant to finish and polish zirconia restorations. But since this kit is extremely difficult to get here, I have an easier and a more economical solution for you. I present to you these silicone wheels which are meant to provide ultimate smoothness and are mirror finish polished surface on your crown and bridge restorations. In fact, this kit is very easily available with Chairside. So why do I actually need to finish and polish my restorations before I cement them inside the patient's mouth? I need to do it because a rough occlusal surface can be extremely harmful for the opposing dentition. A rough surface can easily cause a lot of tooth wear which you obviously do not want. Hence always remember, every time you touch a diamond burr to the surface of a crown or bridge, it needs to be finished and polished. So here are the three different types of wheels in this kit. We have this white wheel which is a silicone impregnated with some abrasive particles and is meant for gross finishing. The next one on the series is the pink or the purple wheel which is meant for finer finishing. Third and final wheel here is the yellow wheel which is meant for imparting a mirror polish on your crowns and bridges. In fact, not only can these be used for zirconia, but I can also use them for my PFM restorations as well. It's like a one-stop solution for all your major prosthetic work. So here's what you will need. A bowl of water, the three wheels from the kit, a micro motor and the prosthesis which you want to finish and polish. In this case, I am using a 3-unit Bruxir bridge which has been adjusted as per the patient's occlusion. You can see the rough area which is created with the burr while adjusting the occlusion. So I start with dipping the bridge in water to prevent any frictional heat and then I bring in the white wheel and use smooth and gentle strokes to have a gross finish on the adjusted area. I can then follow it up with the pink wheel which will help me impart a smooth and uniform surface. You can see how this has transformed a rough surface to a smooth one with my first two steps. The final step is to use the yellow wheel with intermittent cooling and smooth strokes to impart a high polish onto the surface. Just a few strokes with the yellow wheel and the job is done. You can appreciate how smooth the surface has become and I can now rest assured and cement my bridge. In fact, I can also use these wheels for a PFM restoration in a similar way. So here you can see the rough spot where the bridge was adjusted and I can follow the same steps after dipping it in water by using the white wheel first, followed by the pink wheel and finally the yellow wheel to impart a finished, smooth and polished surface before cementation. So there you have it, you saw how effectively we could polish this restoration here. And that is what you really want to see before you cement a crown or a bridge onto the patient's teeth. I'm sure this little tip is going to be extremely helpful for all of you. For any inquiries on how to purchase this kit from Chairside, you can use the comment section below or also write in to us on our email. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and help us grow the Chairside community. Keep watching.